Cristiano Ronaldo could be moved into midfield when Manchester United are out of possession once Ralph Rangnick moves to Old Trafford. It has been suggested the 63-year-old is poised to replace Ole Gunnar Solskjaer on an interim basis. And that means big chances are primed to take place. Ronaldo has scored 10 goals for United across all competitions, with his latest coming against Villarreal in midweek. But with Rangnick poised to take over, that's led to some suggestions he may struggle for regular action. The German likes his forwards to press from the front and Ronaldo's stats when it comes to that area of his game, are lacking. And Bundesliga football expert Raphael Honigstein, writing for The Athletic, has suggested Ronaldo may have to drop into midfield when United are out of possession once Rangnick's appointment is confirmed. Does Ronaldo want to press? Maybe. Can Ronaldo actually press? Maybe, again, he said. Dropping the ultimate ego shooter would create an instant battle that Rangnick can surely do without in his first few weeks in town. But integrating the centre forward into Rangnick's collective, high energy system will be extremely difficult unless the system itself is modified. I wouldn't put it beyond Rangnick to become more flexible, tactically, in the autumn of his career. United will have to press a lot deeper and play more on the break or become experts at closing down the passing lanes without attacking the ball early on, as Chelsea did to perfection against Manchester City in the Champions League final. The slightly wacky alternative would be for Ronaldo to drop into midfield out of possession in a 4-3-3 and have Bruno Fernandes move up in a three-man press. But a midfielder who doesn't press is even more of a liability. If the opponents play through the first wave of pressing, so it might exacerbate the issue. You could also, in a similar vein, buy a decent holding midfielder. A must in any case and play 4-2-3-1, with hiding Ronaldo behind the front three when they press. Again, far from ideal, particularly in terms of team spirit and togetherness. Honigstein also suggested that Rangnick wouldn't necessarily have been United's top choice to replace Solskjaer if they'd made the decision to axe the Norwegian in the summer. Let's put it this way, I don't think he would have been their preferred choice if the process had started this summer, he added. The board certainly want a younger head coach going forward. But that's different from saying Rangnick's past it. Tactically, his ideas are still at the forefront of modern coaching. And it'll be hugely exciting to see him add layers of football onto the pressing blueprint. His frequent changing of backroom staff speaks to a willingness from Rangnick to develop and adjust. He will do just that, I'm pretty sure. He's not the one-dimensional pressing dictator that some people have described him as, and his coaching style in 2021 should also be far more relaxed than a few reports have made out. He's no Mourinho, constantly playing games with people's psyche to get a reaction. Nor is he humorless like Van Gaal. In summary, there should be enough structure and discipline. But none of the recriminations and toxicity of so much of the post-Ferguson years. Rangnick wants a consultancy role at United when his time as manager comes to an end. But Honigstein doubts the club would give him a position of real power. As far as I can tell the role awaits more clarification after the season is over he said. But it's unlikely that United will put him in a position of real power. They will probably use him as a consultant, as the agreement itself specifies, and have him focus on process, structure and general building work behind the scenes rather than front of house.